All right, so how many ducks and chickens do I really have here on the ranch? Those are my guard dogs. Look how, look how spoiled they are. Freaking eating from the bowl. Like, look, at the, look at the mixture of stuff in here. Raisins, corn, peanuts, mealworms. You guys, why are you guys choking up? You guys got water right over there getting filled up for you. There you go. And I see, see? See what I mean? They go right into it. Welcome back to Blake's Exotic Game Ranch today. So today, what we are gonna be focusing on here at Blake's Exotic Game Ranch is all the different kinds of poultry and waterfowl we have here living on the ranch right now in 2019. But there are some big things that we're gonna have coming here on the ranch and some awesome waterfowl and poultry. But for today, we're gonna count how many ducks in it we have and how many chickens we have on the ranch. All right, so how many ducks and chickens do I really have here on the ranch? So as you guys look right here to the right hand side or the left hand side of you guys, all the ducks know that it's evening and it is food time, dinner time. Because everybody gets fed inside of here and gets locked up at night here so that no coyotes or anything or wild dogs or anything attacks the ducks so they get locked up. So what we're gonna do right now is I have this brand new bag of chicken food, duck food, and all kinds of crazy looking seeds and we're gonna go feed the ducks. But as well, behind us, we used to have a lot of chickens here, but they got taken away from the wild dogs and coyotes. But we're gonna make an awesome chicken coop in the future 2019 with that big giant building that everybody's been wondering where it's at. It's coming soon. I'm not rich. I don't have a lot of money. I work very, very hard for my stuff and I do everything alone. So that barn is gonna be very, very large and it's gonna be twice the size as the one that, went, that got burned down. So I'm saving all my money and I'm making sure I get the exact one and the one that I really, really want. So that's why it's taking a little bit of time because it's a very large barn that I will be getting, a very large building. But um, these bantams that are right behind me are some of the chickens that I have left over. And that one that's far right over there, we're gonna get closer to her in a second. That girl right there, her name is Football and she is 10 years old, you guys, 10 years old. She is one of the survivors, one of the longest living chickens I have here on my ranch. And well, she is the longest living chicken here I have on the ranch, but she's awesome. I love that chicken. I literally have her as well as the cow tattooed on me as well. I have a lot of my farm animals tattooed on me on, his, on a nativity set. But um, let's go get that chicken food and feed some of the chickens and set up some water for them. So just follow along here, let's go do it. So I went to Walmart and I got this awesome mealworm and sunflower premium treat for poultry. Just read off the title right there. But um, it has all different kinds of things. It has black sunflower seeds, cracked corn, mealworms, peanuts, raisins, flat seed, all sorts of different kinds of things. Fergie and Snooky thinks this is their treats, but it's not. It's for the chickens. So we're gonna give these things for the chickens right now, and they're gonna love it. It has a lot of good stuff in it. Also says supports feather growth and egg development, which is awesome. But I don't have an incubator anymore because it got burnt down from the fire. So I'm gonna be purchasing a new incubator shortly so that when the ducks, the Indian runners, the Gucci gang, and the call ducks, and my bantam start laying eggs, we can put them in the incubator, hatch them out, have some awesome, awesome content watching these beautiful little birds hatch out of eggs coming soon we're gonna do that once they start laying eggs but I know if I have some of this stuff and more awesome better diet for them instead of just normal crack corn and chicken food with a different variety of different things will make their eggs very very well so they hatch out some beautiful nice little chicks so I'm gonna give this give this to them about twice a week now so that they have a better diet because we don't have that many chickens anymore so why not spend a little bit more money on them make them a little bit more happier and have some beautiful feathers but probably gonna just be a normal thing because I like to make my animals very very happy so we're gonna do this a lot more often and three pound bag is definitely not gonna last long at all but um we're gonna have to find out and talk to this company and see if we could get a lot bigger bags and work with something out because this stuff looks really good and I gave it to them before and they loved it so let's go do that right now so as you guys are wondering why my garage looks like a complete mess and it looks like a feed store and a lot of cages and things of that sort. Well, that's because the people that are new here to Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch, if you didn't know, we had a very large barn fire and I lost my whole entire barn. And everything was stored there. All my stuff was stored there. My feed was stored there. Everything was there. So now I took it over my parents' garage, but they do completely understand because I don't have nowhere to keep it right now. And we're in the works of getting in an awesome, beautiful building. But um, right here, we have this layer pellet and cracked corn. And we're gonna grab some of this right now. We'll scoop some of this and bring it to the Gucci gang. And the Gucci gang, if you guys didn't know, are my Indian running ducks, the khaki looking colored ducks. They're awesome, they're beautiful, and they're great. They follow you around all around the yard. All around the yard. Those are my guard dogs. So there we go. We got a nice mixture of layer pellet and cracked corn, and let's go take that to the ducks right now. 
So you guys, so we have this bag of the seeds I was talking about, and my smartest chicken out of them all, my girl football is coming right now, and she knows I have food here for her. Come here, football, football, come here. Look at this, we got bugs and everything for you right there, girl. Oh yeah, you like the mealworms, huh? She's like, what the heck is all that? There you go, Missy. So this right here. So these are all the ducks. These two right here, not sure 100% what they are, but they look like mallard mixed um, Muscovy, I'm guessing. And then here we have purebred Indian runner khaki ducks. And then in the farther back, the smaller ducks, as you can see, we have a West Indian looking call duck. We have a pie looking call duck, a snowy, another snowy in all white. And that's it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, five call ducks. Five, six, seven Indian runners left from the Gucci game because a few of them did get taken from the wild dog and one did pass away. And then we had two ducks right here. And then with the chickens, we have two roosters. One rooster's over there. He's the loser. He doesn't win the girls. He does right here. And then we have three hens. Two hens over there and one hen right here. And the other hen, obviously, as you guys can see, is my girl football. So here you go, you guys. You guys can watch some of the mealworms. They love these mealworms. Look at, the, look at the mixture of stuff in there. Raisins, corn, peanuts, mealworms. I mean, the whole nine yards. This stuff is... If I was a bird, I would I, I would eat this stuff, but I'm not going to eat it. But um, the birds would definitely like it. There you go, girls. They're loving that stuff up. You guys, why are you guys choking up? You guys got water right over there getting filled up for you. But the, hold on. There's a call. There's an Indian runner here. This one right here. This Drake. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wait until he comes closer. I'm going to grab him. Look at this Drake. Look at the chest on him. Look how dark and beautiful this male is. Beautiful duck. And if you guys didn't know, the way you can tell with the males is when they hit maturity. You see that little loop right there on the back of the tail? That's a boy. Boys have that little uh, curve on them. The males have that. And then the females don't. They're nice and smooth and they have a flat bottom. So the females would be... Uh, there's a female right there. That's a female. See, she has no curved tail. The female. And then there's a couple males. So with the Indian runners, we have four males, five females? No, hold on, hold on, let me recount. Four males, three females. There you go, that's what we have. That's what we have to relook again. Four males, three females, and that's what we have here. And there comes football again, looking for food. Cute little girl. And the water over there is filling up. I'm gonna empty out this water for them so we have nice clean water for the ducks. Shiny clean. That's what it looks like, how it's supposed to look like. But in one day, we can turn right over here and you can see how dirty it gets. It gets real dirty very fast. Because the ducks, when they eat, they put their faces in the mud and then they go to the water and they dirty it up. The people that know about ducks, you guys will understand how dirty ducks can be. So we gotta empty this up. Makes the water grass nice and green because all the duck poop and everything. Rinse it all out. There you go. And I see. See? See what I mean? They go right into it and they clean it all up and then they go put their face right back in the water. So they consistently always have the water completely dirty and ducks don't get sick from that at all. The other animals, they have other bowls over there higher up so that the ducks don't get to them and they have clean water all the time. But uh, the ducks always have dirty water. You make it clean once a day for them and that's the best you can do for these ducks. Unless you have a pond or a river by nearby, something like that, that would be awesome. But there's no ponds or rivers around here. The only ponds over there and that's full of turtles. It won't work. Look how look how spoiled they are. Freaking eating from the bowl like everything sweet for them. But it is. <laughs> there you go. Let me grab some of these awesome seeds. And give them to these other um, what's that called? Other hens, other bants over here. I know they're gonna really like this. We have a gold female and two or three hens in the male. That male is lucky, he got three females. And they sleep up there up top and nobody can mess with them. There you go, you guys. Look how pretty that rooster is. He's gorgeous. There you go, you guys. And if that hen would have come closer, you see how I, I, you guys in the comments, I forgot what it's called. I think it's called a comb. The um, the little red thingy that's on top of their head. That female is in complete like laying time right now. If you can see when she gets closer, her back end is very very puffy and thick, and that's a sign that she's gonna be laying eggs soon. So I'm gonna have to start looking around all around here for collecting eggs. So I'm gonna let her put an egg there every single day or every other day, collect those eggs, collect them. 
and then in about a week, put them in an incubator. Buddy's incubator, because I don't have an incubator and I have to purchase one. And then hatch them out so then we can get the population of my old English phantoms back up and they'll be awesome and great again. So we're gonna do that for sure. Let's go throw a little bit of seeds for that uh, loner rooster over there. He sleeps on top of the barn as well, but he gets himself stuck over there. Look at him running, look at him running. Run, 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 run. <laughs> How fast he runs, look at him. <laughs> Let's go get him some seed real quick so he doesn't have he gets some seed. Down below in the comments, you guys, what other waterfowl or poultry would you like to see here on the ranch? I already have a few ideas. I already know what I want, but I want to see what you guys know and what you guys think I should get. I've had Polish, I've had silkies, I've had all different kinds of geese. I've had turkeys, I've had peacocks, I've had them all. I got rid of a lot of different kinds of things because I focused myself on a lot of different exotic types of turtles and tortoises. That was my main passion. So I downsized a lot to go to back to those things. But, kind of miss them. Kind of really do miss them. Kind of miss my turkeys, kind of miss my peacock. I miss having different kinds of geese. And kind of want to get a bird that's real big too. But uh, that's coming in the future. But. Um, Put in the comments what birds you think, waterfowl and poultry, small breeds, you think I should get in the future in the next couple months. It is season coming up, it's in the beginning of the new year, so there's going to be a lot of things laying eggs soon, so I know I could get stuff from all my friends and all my breeders that produce some awesome, beautiful, quality birds. Again, put in the comments what you guys think. Um, where's that chicken at? There he is. Let me grab some food. So that rooster over there is all the way over there. He's a little wild, he's a little spooky, so what we're going to do is... Get a little bit of the and just... That's it. When he runs back over here, he'll find it, he'll eat it, he'll be happy. And at nighttime, he goes on top of the roof and is safe from all the predators out here. For today's post notification shout out goes to Elms101. He said, you are the new water Lewis Mark. That really got to me. I really liked that. I think that was awesome. And I really appreciate that. Again. If you guys want to be shouted out in one of my next upcoming videos, put down in the comments a positive comment so you guys can get shouted out in the upcoming videos, you guys. If you guys are enjoying this video, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, if you guys enjoy these ducks, give them a thumbs up as well. All right, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Football is definitely filled up. Look at that crop. It is nice and filled. She's going to have a good night's sleep. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. Put those post notifications on you guys so you guys are always notified when I have an updated video. Every other day we have a video posted and as you guys know, ranch is always loud. I'll see you guys in the upcoming video. Woo!